I something you had kind of spoken to me about before was the industry and the typical way of sharing information and how you're trying to kind of break that barrier. Can you kind of dive into that a little further? I'll give you an example. It's like an engineering firm has a solution to your problem, but they don't share it with anyone, and which is kind of odd because then no one even knows they have that solution. And you're kind of talking about, hey, I have this information about stuff coming out and you're just putting it out there. Just like, hey, trying to send it directly to them. Hey, here's, this is coming up. This is the new way of doing a gate valve. Like here's a new valve that's maybe a thousand dollars cheaper. What causes that? I don't know. It seems sometimes like a lack of transparency or is it, he's responsible. So as an engineering firm, as most of these systems deal directly with an engineer to start off with on any project, you're bound by these ethical clauses. Okay. One of these ethical clauses is that you can't market your services with a cost attached to it. All right. You can't send somebody and say, hey, I'll do this work for X amount before you even know that they're interested in the work being done before they've contacted you or, you know, or said, hey, you've seen this bid and they're, it's an open-ended bid or whatever it is. You can't attach a dollar amount to a service that you're offering. I don't have those same stipulations as just a regular service company. I can put out once a year, we do a 50% off on all of our inspections. So our inspections run right around $900. So once a year, we'll give a 50% discount on all of our inspections. It's usually our biggest promotion a year. And we'll send out an email, the same email every day for a solid week, because we know that 30% of those emails go to junk. 30% of those emails get deleted without opening them and 30% of those get opened and maybe 5% of them get a response, right? So if we hit every week, we're just increasing our chances. But in that situation, I learned a long time ago that one, price is never the issue. It's if they see the value in what you're offering. So if I can tell somebody, and I'll be honest with you, Mike, inspections is just our foot in the door, okay? I don't care. I care less if I can do an inspection for you. I care more about giving you information than I do care about giving the inspection to you. But I know that an inspection report is required by every state, just depends on the the requirement cycle, All right. So if I call you or email you and I offer you this inspection, I know that you have to have it. So I'm not offering you a service out of nowhere that eight other companies are offering you And we're just hoping to try to gain that business. If eight other companies are offering you the same inspection, it's because you're required to get the inspection. I'm just offering you the best inspection. So I'm going to keep hounding you until I get the inspection because I'm giving you information that nobody else has given you. But when you get back to giving the information out to these people at no cost, no obligation, no commitment to where most companies don't, it's because most companies are afraid of competition right? In your field, there's probably, I have no idea, but let's just say there's 20,000 engineering companies in the country, okay? Most engineers are only bound to a state line by by an, an application within that other state. You can get work in any state you want to by filing an application. Once you've already got your PE, it usually transfers to any state. Now, I could be wrong about a couple of states, but I'm pretty sure that you could go and get licensed in that state. So you have 20,000 companies that potentially are fighting for all of the states, and all 20,000 are in competition with each other. So the least amount of information you give away that allows you to be the lowest bidder ensures you more work. Because if you're all in competition, but I can charge less than you, but I don't tell you how I'm doing it, well, then I'm still in the running. Well, when you're looking at rural systems, the worst thing that a rural system wants is secrecy, okay? (laughs) These are homegrown people. I told you, I grew up in a town of 512 people. A handshake means something to these people, all right? So if I go in, guns blazing, not with with aggressive sales tactics, but I go in gun blazing with information and I download you with every answer to every question you have. And I give you as many articles of information as I can. I guarantee you, I have just created a level of trust that no other company that you've ever talked to will ever do or has ever done. 
So when I go and I give a quote, and, and I do this because there's certain instances in certain states to where our tank rehab will fall below a threshold that they have to go out for a bit, okay? And if we do some work for them, they're like, I need to go and get two other bids on the work. I will say, not a problem. I'm going to send you over my proposal, and I'm going to send you over two contacts of other companies that I know that I've bid against, and I'm going to put that in there for you, and that way you can contact them directly. And here's the inspection report that we use. Send it to them. They'll be able to use that to give you a quote. Am I going to get, and I've lost more work, Mike, than I've won doing this, okay? Yeah. But. I have just, yeah, they may not use me for that rehab, but I guarantee you the next time that tank goes up for rehab, I'm going to get an email. The next time I need that tank cleaned or inspected, I'm going to get an email because I just made their job easier and I just showed that I have nothing to hide. All right. I'm giving you two other people that I've bid against directly that I may have won or may have lost, but they're going to give you a quote. It's going to be comparable to mine. It's going to be a different quote than you received. And you'll see exactly that I'm not hiding anything from you. Information is key to trust. And companies that do not give the information out, they always want to know, what are they hiding? What are they, what are they going to do to me once they get the contract? You know? What are they going to do with me? I had a recent developer I was chatting with, and they got all the way to the end of the project. The engineer's like, need 10,000 yards to make this drainage plan work. And it was $250,000 for you to finally tell that to me. You didn't know that when you just, I don't know, put some contours on the site and you had that. It's just, they're like, oh. And then the guy's like, oh, we need a change order now to do a stormwater pond because what we designed didn't work anymore. And now we got to pump the water. And it's like, well, man, I mean, we didn't want to talk about that before you spent all the time to give me an unfavorable answer. <laughs>